afternoon my YouTube friends um, I'm sorry I've been missing for a bit but uh, things are calming down and it's sorting itself out so we're we're getting there slowly here is my fowl that I bought last August and look at that it's all completely in flower well not all of it because it's still got one two three and maybe four buds to go um, this one is going to split pretty soon I think which is the one that's been in spikes since I bought it it's now branched um, and I've got a feeling it might have branched again but I don't know so I'm just having a look on that front this is my poorly fowl um, but I had a look at Margaret's um, Margaret East's thing of how she deals with hydration and stuff so I'm going to try that and see if that works I've got nothing to lose, if it goes it goes, if it doesn't it doesn't um, you know it's got two chances it'll either live or it won't um, okay right do excuse the mess out here but out here I have one amaryllis which was the red lion which is now producing leaves but as you can see this is the amount of um, light I can give it uh, that down there is a heart of bulb that didn't work it was preheated I did everything on the instructions and it's done nothing apart from grow leaves uh, the cyclamen at the back there that thing that was like a rock in a thing is a cyclamen um, I repotted it and unfortunately broke the top of the flower top of the thing off but I'd actually frightened it into dormancy by getting it too hot so it's out here for the light and the heat and this one is my pink amaryllis that's coming out here for again for the light um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to move these because we've got some horrible weather coming in soon um, today so I'm going to have to move these back indoors um, but they're out here in the porch to get as much light as possible these up here are all getting very sensible oh, if you can see in there there you go there's another leaf coming so that's growing I can't see anything in there but I'm pretty sure there's another leaf going to come out of that one um, this thing is nearly finished flowering um, you know obviously these two buds are going to go soon because that's the last one um, and there as you can see is a new leaf coming in there so that one's growing and this one here again I'm pretty sure there probably will be a leaf coming out of there I can't make out whether there is or not um, but this one's happy as well so all in all my orchids actually are looking pretty happy this is my Paphiopedalum mordii I assume this is the, lo the lowest leaf so it's going yellow which means it will probably drop now I understand if you pinch it at the bottom if you feel a little swelling which I think there is it's busy sorting out a spike so and to be fair this one is drinking water a lot quicker than it was so I think it's growing um, this one has a new leaf on it that I found this morning which is this one this one here um, while I was looking at it which is my Jersey Freckles um, again I need to repot this because it's been potted back to front in the pot um, obviously because the flowers come in this way so it needs to be taken out of this moved further back and then put back in the pot if necessary it doesn't have to be able to change a pot it just needs sorting out <laughs> otherwise it's going to run out of room to come this way now for those of you that are interested and those of you that know me will know that this I have been after for ages I um I found it yesterday in the supermarket at a sensible price it's an Easter cactus so it is an it Ripsalidopsis and you can see from the leaves that, that they're all scalloped those of you who have the Thanksgiving cactus of what I have several um, that's the difference you can probably see it better there if I push these two together there's the uh, Easter cactus there 
and that is the Thanksgiving cactus. There you go, you can see the difference there. Okay, so I now have an Easter cactus, and when it flowers properly, I shall let you know. Now I have a special surprise for you. I bought an Echeveria a while ago, and um, that's this one here. Um, it put out a spike and had some lovely bell flowers on the end of it. That's now nearly finished. Um, there was, when I bought this, another spike on it, but I think maybe the shock um, frightened it away. So I'm just going to leave it and uh, see what happens. This item here, this bowl and saucer, or pot and saucer, I've bought for my mum for Mother's Day. I actually gave it to her before she went home and she forgot to take it with her. This is Lily of the Valley. Now if anybody can help me, whether that's dehydrated or overwatered, um, I it, the soil's very damp and I know it was sitting in a puddle earlier. Um, so And it's still got some water in the saucer now which I'm about to undo. This is my dendari boom which appears to be doing quite well but it's all coming off on a funny angle and it's looking peculiar but there you go, that's a little bit of window water, cold damage there that's my fault again, I tried putting it out in the porch and didn't like it um, there's all the roots on the two keys there uh, but there doesn't appear to be any more nubbins coming up so and that's how that's doing this is my newest acquisition, it's a Callan Curry, it's a little one and it's a white one as you can see in the picture um, and it's in a little pink thing um, it's quite funny, I never spend more than £3 on plants and that was reduced from £5 to £2.50 because I bought it after Mother's Day instead of before and this thing is just doing its stuff and looking magnificent as always when it comes into flower um, it's still got loads more buds to come out this one hasn't got so many but if I turn that round there you go, you can see what they look like there's a the buds there but there's obviously a new one there, there's one or two further round but not as many and like I say but this thing is looking magnificent as ever and these are my divisions, cuttings, whatever you like to call them um, two aloes and bits of each of the Thanksgiving cactus, the red one and the pink one um, and there is actually another one just here along with another aloe that you may have spotted and that is the red one with the white spot look at this I've just bought a new pot cover for my papier pedal and Mordier here um, because it was looking a bit unstable in that cup um, I know it was a big cup but it was looking a little bit unstable it looks so good in this I am desperately looking for a square pot cover for this one but I'm not entirely sure I'm going to manage that for my jersey freckles um, but we'll see I'll just have a look around and see what I can find. Um, as some of you will know, um, and obviously if you get back to the videos you'll see, we went to um, the Kew Gardens um, Orchid Festival back at the end of February. And although it was a freezing cold day, we went into the shop and they had loads of obsidian twinkles. And because I didn't want to carry a plant around the gardens all day, we decided we'd go and get them on the way out. And you know, I looked all the way around to Kew and all the way around the shop. And by the time we came back, every last single one of them had gone. So I came back from Kew empty handed, which is has got to be a first. <laughs> um, so, you know. That was a little bit disappointed, pointing. However, the Karen Curry and the Easter Cactus that I've just shown you, um, I purchased those yesterday 
um, and the whole process or the whole purchase came to less than, less than five pound so because of that I have a money box downstairs which is labelled as plant fund so any loose change I get left over and things like that I will put in there and then when I think it's well when the money box is full I should just empty it put it somewhere safe into something and use it to buy my plants especially if it's something I want I mean obviously I would like to go to the Malvern show but I may not be able to do that because that's the weekend of my husband's birthday um, I also would like to go to Chelsea the Chelsea Flower Show but that is also you know it's in May there's there's a lot going on. Uh, Malvern we may not make because there's a lot of things going on in June. Um, Chelsea Flower Show we may or may not make. I've been before um, but I'd like to go again because uh, you always get something different out of that uh, if you leave a couple of years in between and things like that. Um, so there are some things I'd like to do. Um, We've also talked about, you know, we need to visit lots of different garden centres rather than the, the local ones which can't tell the difference between a Thanksgiving cactus and an Easter cactus, never mind. You know, if anybody saw that Easter cactus downstairs came from the supermarket, it was labelled correctly. The two Thanksgiving cactus I have downstairs that are in flower were sold to me last March in bars as the Easter cactus is downstairs as Easter cacti. Well, as you well know, there's no way they're in Easter cacti. They're Christmas cacti or Thanksgiving cacti. Um, the fact that it just happens to have a second flush of flowers is it's a Schlumbergia truncata. It's a different species. Never mind <laughs> you know, but the garden centre didn't appear to know that. And we've been back to the garden centre and they're now selling them as epiphyllums, which they're not. They're Schlumbergera truncata, I think. Yeah, Schlumbergera truncata. So, you know, I'm very wary of these big chains of garden centres because they don't seem to know what they're talking about. They, you know, they're in, they're in it for the profit, not for letting people know things. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. There will be there's an update in the description about some of the family emergency and stuff that was going on. And I'll let you know a bit more information down there if you want to read it. If you don't, you don't have to. And I will see you soon. I can't promise it will be very soon, but I will definitely see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.